there um, this was the place where I had almost slipped and died in this crack over here and and I, I was kind of terrified by that a little bit so I, I wanted to kind of capture the power of water and um, I saw that the Sun was over there and I just wanted to capture the water and the Sun and the sea stack all together so, that, so I, I carefully made my way around and you know, kind of reliving that, that moment that I had. What regular weather sites tell you is how the weather is going to be. It doesn't tell you if it's going to be photogenic. So what we tell you is if the, if the clouds will be colorful or not. Or we tell you if there's a fog, low fog. And if it's low enough, the message that I'm trying to convey here is Mother Nature is very beautiful. She's very powerful and we've got to respect her for that. First is tide, obviously, because you don't want to get swallowed by the swell. Um, a clear coast, no fog, just a little bit of clouds, just enough to give it some type of motion, other than just a starry sky. Uh, and just going out consistently, multiple times, coming across, trying to catch a moonset on the coast is really difficult because of fog. So you had to come here multiple times before you got the yeah, shot? Yeah, it was more than... How many times? I couldn't even count on one hand. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. We get to all go to all these beautiful places and he just does his thing and I just get to sit on the sidelines. This one's mine right here. Is that a point three? That is at Inverness, point raise, the famous shipwreck that somebody burned down because they were reckless. And to make a shot like that, it takes a little bit of patience and ready to be cold. Um, I think I shot from about 3 o'clock to about 5 a.m. and just let the camera go in order to get all the photos needed to, to stack for, that, for those star trails. It was my third time going up there, with that, and this time I didn't get skunked by clouds. But other than that, yeah, it was doing a little research to figure out how to execute and edit and shoot. And I got there at 11 at night, and I shot some Milky Way, and then I waited for the light painters to be done because they were ruining everything. And then once they were gone, everybody was clear. I honestly, I set it up, and then I went to my car and napped for the two hours it took to shoot. And then I came back out, and then I went out to the Cypress Tunnel to shoot Sunrise. So I waited about a year for the construction to die down so that I could get back to the spot where all of the photographers usually set up to take this photo. So I saw a bunch of photographers there taking different shots, but none of them were taking it with the flowers in the foreground. So I decided to do something a little different and move my tripod and got the shot of the sunset with the flowers framing it. Go out and shoot as much as you can. Uh, don't feel like you need to buy really expensive gear. Uh, just get your hands on camera, a camera and figure out how to work it figure out how it works and then later you know I, I got a beginner camera um, and waited 10 years to upgrade to like actual real professional equipment.
I just can't believe what we have here. This is just incredible. Honestly, like, this is not my show. Um, this is you guys. Like, Dave is the reason we're here. Um, everybody, I mean, like, Swami for a slideshow. Ryan got us an article in, like, KTVU. Like, every, there's so many people who did so much stuff. All these flyers you see, Shawshank. Just so many people we have to thank. Um, which could not do this without you. And, of course, all the amazing images here. Isn't this way better than Instagram? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Come on now. Come on. And by the way, by the way, we did not put artists here. We did not put your picture up here because we like you. We put them up there because it's incredible. You're going to remember this evening. This all started months ago where Jeff and Tom called an emergency meeting. And we sat in the living room and we all vented. We were tired of social media, we were tired of the crap, and we wanted a new platform. We wanted something new to show our work. And that's a result of this. We're only getting started. On the 19th of this month, which is to be our closing night, we're gonna unveil the theme to our next gallery. Wow. So in fact, this shot wasn't envisioned that way. We were, we were shooting the Golden Gate Bridge with a low fog event, right? But then we looked to the right, and this is happening in front of my face, right? So I was, just, I was like, okay, I gotta get this. What? You recognize your head? Oh, you're videoing? I'm sorry, I know you're videoing. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good.